tonight we wrap up our regular season, but guess what? You'll have five final days in 2019 to watch the world's best, November 6th through the 10th, all live on CBS Sports Network. Three riders to go to wind out our regular season, Brennan Eldred, Dalton Castle, and Chase Outlaw. Of the three, Castle and Outlaw have picked those whopping bulls that they've already had success on before. We take a look at our standings. Jose Vitor Leme's ride moments ago has put him a full bull ahead of Jess Lockwood and Cooper Davis, which meant in terms of top storylines that he will keep his world number one spot heading into the world finals. Brennan Eldred, this is more, I would say, J-Dub, about confidence and just setting the right tone for him. We know he's going to Las Vegas, but having a three-for-three three weekend to end the regular season would be huge for him. It, it, would, be, it would be great for him. It, it'd mean more than the million bucks at this point just because he hadn't been three-for-three three yet. At all this I'm, year. That's what I mean, yeah. yet. So, and he, and he didn't go in. He could come in third with third draft. He didn't pick the... Heartbreak kids. He he didn't pick some of those rank bulls. He picked a really good one that should fit him. I don't want to call it a layup, but if in this championship round there was a layup bull, this was him. But he's got to capitalize on this one, or it'll set a precedent uh, that he won't like. Mm. Sitting bull puts Eldred on his back. And he was a half second away from everything that JW was talking about and probably more. Brennan Eldred is an emotional rider that doesn't show that emotion very often. You know this meant a lot to him. And he just had to get the score. I mean, you're going to talk about 43 and a half point bull scores. That's not championship level go around bulls. And yet he still failed to make the whistle. It's got to be a downer for him. Eldred walks off. But it was a good weekend all in all. I know the buck off won't sit well, but he was two for three, which allows him to sort of feel as if he's on target as we move toward Las Vegas. Meanwhile, we're down to two, and let's highlight how big these are. Dalton Castle in Nashville aboard Fearless. Up and down, going to have the big leaps. He can't get on the end of his arm like this. I know he made the whistle here, but I'm telling you, if you get on the end of the arm too much on this bull, you're going to get whipped down over the front end. But he's been concentrating heavily on staying over that front end, and he's been doing a good job of it. But now's the time to make that practice and concentration count. Well, and if you're a Dalton Castle fan, just look at what Jess Lockwood was able to do. His ride last weekend on Heartbreak Kid seemed a little more wild than his ride tonight with, on Heartbreak Kid. With just a couple of adjustments, teed off on him, stepped off on his feet instead of landing on top of his head. Now this one, you got to get over the front end, ride him jump for jump, watch him when he moves ahead in them jumps, really stay over that front end and set that chest when he does kick. fearless he is but don't look like he's scared to lean back on one <laughs> 92 look at him move that outside foot just that bulls leaving the shoot he didn't even give him time to get turned around there i've not seen anybody ride one leaning back as good as i seen dalton castle do it this year i mean he can take the yanking and still get back out over the front for the next jump outstanding dalton castle moves to the number one spot he now has one ride to watch to see if he'll win his first career event. He's with Kate. One of the best bulls in the world. How did you conquer him for a second time? I just had to keep hustling that bull strong. And I felt like I was going to get pulled down every jump. <laughs> Anyways, kept hustling and rode. Converted in the championship round. Great job. Thank you. Craig. For Dalton Castle. I mentioned we know Leme is going to go into Vegas, the number one rider in the world. Castle will go in the number one rookie. What can Chase Outlaw do to throw an interesting wrinkle into this script? 
we're showing you. He needs 92 and a quarter to win the event. Well, he's gotten that and more aboard this bull. A couple of times he rode this bull in Cheyenne. He rode him at Chad Berger's big event in Bismarck, North Dakota. Been up there around that 94 mark both times. He can do it, but he's got to do it today. Lemmy is going to be number one. Lockwood is going to be number two. But if Outlaw can best castle here and take the lion's share of those bonus points, we are going to have a three-way race for the top that would rival any year the PBR has ever seen. I've never seen one better. I, I really haven't. And we've talked about it every year. We try to build the hype on it a little bit. But you know what? This one's truly legit. Best run I've seen, especially with three guys equally as talented, equally as as dedicated, and got as much heart as anybody to go at it. And, and to add to, because you said it at the top of the show, it's not just been all those things. It's been that they've swapped the number one position so many times in these last few months. It's just like two major league hitters. They're both going to hit a home run. Now we're just going to see who can hit it the farthest. <laughs> well, this would be a dinger of epic proportions if Chase Outlaw and Smooth Wreck connect. Well, there's not. There's two people carefully watching this one. That's Mrs. Outlaw and Cody Lambert because he wants to know what this bull's going to do. Smooth Wreck uh -huh. said, want to bet? And uh -huh. that little move puts Outlaw down, which means Dalton Castle. Ah, the challenge button. I'm going to say it anyway. Dalton Castle may have just won his first ever event, but because the challenge button has been hit, the judges are going to look at this for time. Ah. <laughs> it is so hard to find 37 one hundredths oh, of a second. Yeah, but you got to hit it. I mean, we're talking a million bucks come Sunday in Las Vegas. We got to try to find it. And that's pretty clear evidence mm. that outlaw has gone to the ground. So let us fully 100 percent celebrate 20 year old Dalton Castle, the mule shoe Texan cowboy who only came to this level back in Tulsa, has lit a fire under every fan of this sport. Dalton Castle and the rest of his rookie cohorts are putting on a show. He's with Kate. Dalton, congratulations. You just made it on tour in August back in Tulsa. You surged into the top 10 in the standings and now standing in the winner's circle for the very first time. Describe how career changing and life changing this first buckle is. I've been extremely blessed. The Lord's blessed me with the opportunity to come up here and surround myself with good people to ride bulls with. And I'm having fun right now and can't wait till World Finals. You and Chase came into the championship round tied for first. Right behind you was your good buddy, Brennan Eldred. The three of you have been traveling together. Describe what it's like, the relationship of the three of you, and to have the two of them in your corner. It's turned into a brotherhood, and I couldn't ask for anybody better in my corner. We're supportive over each other, and we just have a good time, and we all love that riding bulls, so that's what we go do. And last, you mentioned your excitement going to Las Vegas for your very first time in your career. You're leading the Rookie of the Year race. How big would that title be in your very first year? Oh, it, it'll be a cool deal to win, uh, but name of the game is staying on. So that's what I'm trying to do, and I just got to keep doing what I'm doing. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, we got to see the bull cool customer in this championship round. And 20-year-old Dalton Castle, a pretty cool customer as well. He wins here in Nampa to round out the 2019 regular season. But look at those other markers in the top five. Jose Vitor Leme, Jess Lockwood, Cooper Davis, and Chase Outlaw, a who's who of the best in this sport. The Kubota Tractor's ride of the night, the best ride of the season. Jess Lockwood aboard Heartbreak Kid. And you said it, can he do it twice? And yes, he can. Bull stays to the left, kicking loose. Only thing different, 
He lands on the one point on the other end, both feet. <laughs> you want to bottle some of that, not only if you're Jess Lockwood, but if you're anybody that follows this sport. As we wrap up our regular season, let's state the obvious. How cool is our job? I can't <laughs> to get to witness all this. Just to get to be here with the fans and see that happen. I mean, we're seeing we're seeing things that bull riding's never seen before. The race that we're getting to see, the rides that we're getting to see. I think Lockwood and between the between Lockwood and Lemmy, them guys Outlaw and Cooper Davis and those guys. We've got a pack of young guys that are so good at their job. These races could go on for 10 more years. Let's update the world standings because this year is far from over. Lemmy ahead of Lockwood, 416 points. Outlaw the next closest, but over 1,400 points behind. Well, the end of our show here in Idaho can only mean one thing. Las Vegas, here we come for the 2019 PBR World Finals. Live coverage begins from T-Mobile Arena on Wednesday, November 6th. For JW Hart, Kate Harrison, Jesse Byrd, Justin Felisco, and our entire crew, I'm Craig Hummer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in Las Vegas.